Uh, hello, my name is Matthew, and we are on shelf 12 of my tiny house library tour. And if you see any of the books uh, that you might be interested in, I'll leave my email and you can um, contact me. We can work something out and you will be supporting my uh, plans to visit Spain. I also have a GoFundMe link if that interests you, and I'll uh, leave that as well. So um, we'll just start looking at the books. We'll start with three movies, just to get these out of the way. We have The Flavor of Green Tea Over Rice by Yazuhuri Uzu. It's a very pretty movie. Um, which one is this? Uh, the Avengers Infinity War. So there's Thanos with his gauntlet. I was always excited when these uh, Marvel movies were coming out for the past 10 years. And it wasn't until the end that I realized that for as much as I would enjoy watching them, I would never have, I never have any interest in watching them again. So I don't know what that says about the movies. Uh, maybe nothing. Uh, Fantastic Mr. Fox. This is a stop animation movie directed by Wes Anderson, starring George Clooney, Meryl Streep, Jason Schwartzman, Bill Murray, Owen Wilson. Uh, it's fantastic and star-studded and beautiful to look at. The textures of um, the animation is, is just um, beautiful. You just want to touch everything. So now on to the books. <laughs> Uh, Answered Prayers by Truman Capote. This is his last unfinished novel. And apparently, if I remember correctly, uh, he, he thought to himself, or it had talked about how this was going to be his Proustian masterpiece. So he was going to write um, this uh, grand Proustian work. <laughs> and... Um, of, of course, it clearly misses the mark. Um, <laughs> and it's probably my least favorite thing um, by Capote. I read it just because I, I've tried to read everything that I can by Capote. Um, and it falls flat in a lot of ways for me. Um, I didn't find anything Proustian at all. Uh, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest by Ken Casey. Um, I didn't care for it. I, I, I read the book because, because of the movie, the Jack Nicholson movie. And I didn't care for the movie either. I thought maybe the book would give me some appreciation. Um, but it just confirmed that I'm um, not really interested in the story. And it, it just didn't, the book didn't do anything for me. Okay. Um, Coleridge, Darker Reflections, uh, by Richard Holmes, and this is the second part of his two-part, his fabulous two-part biography of Coleridge, and this is, um, the second half, the, the mature years of Coleridge. Uh, I was actually surprised that he didn't die young, uh, for everything I knew about his mental illness and drug addictions and um, all of that kind of behavior, but it has uh, drawings and illustrations in here. There's a Coleridge is an old man, um, and uh, it's fantastic. I, I, he 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 did a lot um, to help um, the younger generation, literary generation, and. Um, it talks about a lot of the lectures and speeches and influences that he had on so many uh, people that we talk about today. Um, a Treatise on Tolerance and Other Writings by Voltaire, and this is a Barnes & Noble edition. I try to read everything I can by Voltaire. Um, and it's um, <clears throat> it has different writings in it, but mostly it, it's uh, one of Voltaire's favorite subjects, which is railing against religious intolerance. Uh, 
Oxford World's Classic. We have the Confessions of Young Torles. Uh, I'm not sure how I pronounce that. By Robert Musil. Um, and the cover illustrator, yeah, Egon Schliel. Um, and it's a rather dark, depressing. Uh, I remember that there's just these brutal um, scenes in like a boarding, in, in the, it, it, a lot of the book t uh, takes place in a boarding school. He wrote um, Man Without Qualities. It's a big, um, two, two, I have a two part um, edition. Uh, the Road to Wigan Pier by George Orwell. Um, and this is a story of the... Is this the mining town? I believe this is... Uh, yeah, the coal, the coal miners. Uh, Orwell is one of my favorite um, 20th century writers. I've, I've, I love ev every, everything that I've read by Orwell, practically. All of his novels are great. Um, 1984 and Animal Farm are probably my least favorite books that I've read by him, and I still think they're terrific. So maybe that says something. Um, <clears throat> In the Land of Pain by Alphonse Daudet, or Daudet, and this is translated by Julian Barnes. Uh, Julian Barnes, I, I believe, wrote Flaubert's Parrot. I think that's one of his books that, um, and a handful of other things. I know him for Flaubert's Parrot. And uh, Alphonse Daudet wrote, um, the only thing that I've read by him other than this is Letters from My Windmill, which I just love. And Daudet, or Daudet, apparently was an extremely popular, prolific French writer. And so he has all these books. And from what I understand, um, there's only two works um, that are available in English, or at least easily available. I would love to read some of, uh, if he has other novels or short story collections. Um, and this is incidental. It's it's really um, like little snippets and um, sketches. Nothing, um, um, nothing really Im impressive or insightful or memorable. Um, I, I was hoping for more, but it's a minor. Uh, Platform by um, Michelle Welbeck, and this is a novel. Uh, it's either Welbeck or some version of Welbeck, and his uh, time in, I think it's Thailand. Um, and I, I've read quite a few Welbeck novels. Um, it's right up my alley. It's a dirty French writer. Um, and the more I read of him, the more I'm less and less impressed, especially for that genre. I, I've, I've never um, wanted to go back to any of his books. Um, they, they do start to feel a little repetitive. And um, I, I'm not sure I've I, I, I'm not sure I, how much I think of him as a great writer either, c compared to, especially compared to the French. Um, it's rather um, average or humdrum. So um, I, remember, I remember enjoying them while I was reading them, but they're scandalous. Uh, Murder in the Cathedral by T.S. Eliot. Um, very uh, stern play by T.S. Eliot. Um, it's, what does this say? Uh, based on the murder of the Archbishop of Canterbury in 1170. Little thing. And Quiet Flows the Dawn. I have not read this. Uh, I, I bought this um, with the optimistic intention of getting to it someday, and here it sits. Uh, never been read. Um, so, yeah, may, may, maybe one day, maybe not. Uh, let me know if, if you've read it, what you think. Um, a great little edition of Bartleby the Scrivener. It's one of my favorite 
um, short stories by Herman Melville. I, I talk about it all the time. It's, it's one of the short stories that um, somebody asks, what, what, what's one of your favorite short stories or something like that? Uh, I, would, I would bring up Bartleby the Scrivener. Famous um, uh, choruses. I would prefer not to. Um, Incest by Marquis de Sade, an actual dirty French writer. <laughs> um, okay, th this is this is funny. So look at this. It's a, a, a yellow covered uh, book, and this is Justine by uh, de Sade again, and. <laughs> Um, can I pull this off? Well, it's uh, it's an Oxford World's classic, and apparently in the in the 19th century in England, um, all the French books would have yellow covers, and so if you saw a yellow covered book in a bookstore or somebody's house, you would know it was a French writer. And I had this idea of just making uh, homemade uh, book wrappers. So <laughs> I thought it would be a hoot if uh, I could just visually look and see all of my um, uh, French writers by their yellow covers. I only, and then I only did the one. Uh, the Awakening by Kate Chopin. And I just read this last year and I, I loved it. It was um, moving and sweet and um, tender and um, beauti beautifully written. Um, uh, it's, at some point, I, I need to read more of Kate Chopin. This is the only thing I've read by her. <clears throat> the Castle by Franz Kafka, one of my absolute favorite writers and one of my favorite books. Uh, and uh, this is probably one of the best indicators for my kind of sense of humor I howl through this book. There are scenes and situations which are so absurd and depressing and bleak that I can't help but I can't help but laugh. It's it's this prospector who is trying to um, perform a job at this castle. He was he was hired by the castle to do a land surveying. And uh, the whole entire book is him um, hopelessly and aimlessly um, trying to even get into the castle and meet the people that um, he hired him. And instead, he's just like wandering around in this strange uh, village, and everything is upside down. And um, <laughs> uh, and it's un it's unfinished, so uh, it. The, the ending is just sort of tails off, but I love it. Um, another well back novel, whatever. Uh, I don't even I don't even remember what this thing's about. Um, it's probably the same same thing as platform. Uh, the Handmaid's Tale. This was a gift somebody um, when they found out that I had not read the ha Handmaid's Tale. They said, "Well, I have to." And I've, I've heard that quite often. Th this person in particular uh, just had to get me a copy of it. And I, I, I read, <clears throat> I, don't, I don't even know, five pages or maybe less, maybe a couple more pages, and uh, put it down. I, I really don't have any interest in reading it. Um, the opening didn't, didn't grab me. I, I don't know. These are great additions. So this is the um, the what is it? Uh, the portable Voltaire by uh, Vi yeah, the Penguin. Uh, portable Vi Voltaire by Penguin, and uh, and at least it has more things to read other than Candide. Um, some more of those like philosophical tales like Candide, um, Zadig and Micromagus, uh, the story of a good Brahmin. Um, it has selections from the Philosophical Dictionary, um, some letters, some of his uh, letters from the English nation, uh, his writings on the Lisbon earthquake. Um, so, yeah. 
And here, here's a French writer uh, that I love, uh, Stendhal, the Italian Chronicles. And I started reading it and didn't finish it um, for no good reason. Um, I, for as much as I like Stendhal, I, it, most of my admiration uh, would rest on the Charter House of Parma and the Red and the Black. He also has a biography, uh, autobiography that he wrote under a different name. I believe NYRB Classics uh, at some point published that, which I, I haven't read. Um, and then this. So he's still a writer that I want to uh, acquaint myself with because he's a great writer. Um, and that's it. That's, that's our little uh, bookshelf tour for today. Let me know if any of these interest you. Uh, I'm actually going to the post office today to uh, mail out uh, books that have already been uh, spoken for, but um, anything on this shelf or any of the other tours, I'll leave my email. Um, just let me know. We could figure something out. And uh, that's it. So uh, let me know if you have any thoughts on the books I mentioned. Um, and uh, that's it. Okay. So uh, thank you. Uh, leave a comment if you'd like, and take care.